today I will be doing an oil change for my Honda CBR 1000 RR2 2016 and I'm going to be showing you all the steps that are needed for an oil change and all the materials that are needed and uh, so you're going to need a 12 millimeter socket wrench to drain the bolt the oil drain bolt number two you're going to need an oil filter can and mine is a KNN and um, oil filter and the uh, inner seal around it comes lubricated with oil so this is a good quality one that was recommended to me by uh, my uh, friend who is a mechanic and a lot of people forget number three this is a um, washer uh, oil drain seal and oil drain washer I forgot exactly what it's called but yeah, this needs to be replaced every time you change your oil or the oil starts leaking and this was highly recommended to me by a friend who is a mechanic a motorcycle mechanic and then I have my four cords of Mobile One uh, 10W40 oil, uh, engine oil, and it's full synthetic. Depending on your owner's manual, what is recommended. This was recommended to me by again my friend who is a mechanic. So my motorcycle takes about 3.9 cords, and uh, so I have. I'll take take up these four four cylinders. So. And then a funnel to put to put your oil in. And then I I have this tool. I just bought it. It was like eight dollars. It's a oil filter wrench. So you wouldn't need uh, if you didn't have this. You would just need a different socket for your. And then obviously you have your oil drain pan. You definitely need these so you don't spill oil all everywhere and yourself. And you're also gonna need a five millimeter Allen key to take off the side panels, which is the first step. So first step is you're gonna take um, your five millimeter Allen key and take off these side panels right here one bolt two and same thing for the other side Okay, got both my screws from this side. Now I'm gonna go loosen them from the other side. And uh, then what I'm gonna do is there's four little clips from this panel that comes off all together. So I'm gonna take it off. So I've done all four of my bolts from the panels off. So now I'm gonna unclip the pan, this lower side panel. Okay, so there's these little clips from the side over here should just come off. There you go. And now I'm going to do the other side. Side panel is, the bottom of the panel is off. I've gotten it completely off. Now I'm going to look for my drain bolt and my uh, oil can. Okay, so here is my drain, oil drain bolt and here, this is my oil filter. So I'm gonna put the oil pan underneath here, un uh, release the bolt, and release all the engine oil. And so you definitely wanna use gloves for this part.
okay my oil is dripping from my engine my engine oil and we're just gonna wait for all of that to come out engine oil from a drain bolt. The thing I'm going to do is unscrew the oil filter can and change that. And so this is what I was talking about, the washer that comes off this. So I'm going to change that to a new washer. Here's my new washer. Okay. Put that on. So at this point, I realized that this uh, wrench, oil, oil filter wrench that I got from AutoZone was not releasing the oil filter and it was just not catching it at all. It was on so, on so tight. And so therefore, I had to call my friend in for help who had the right tools to take the oil filter off. Okay, so we've got the... Uh, um, oil filter off finally my friend tack has come to the rescue <laughs> you want to pop a, open one of the oil yeah I, I will okay so he's just gonna put the oil filter on yeah and oil in there too yeah okay yeah so the engine doesn't start with dry okay yeah so yeah yeah that's that's what so he put a little bit little oil around the outer seal now he's gonna screw it back on. Get some mountains. Yeah, you want some mountains? Yeah. It's that gator wrench thing. Yeah, it's very cool. <laughs> right? It's like, a, it's like the best thing ever. I know, dude. You're not supposed to like, tight to tight because of the heat. Yeah, the, I know. The seal seals it. Yeah, so that's what happened. I, would, I, I could couldn't get the oil filter off, so tried my best. And some some of the bikes may be different. The Ducati. Yeah, the Duc Ducati has everything different, dude. <laughs> it's one-sided swing arm. Yeah, I just use the gator wrench. Tighten it. That's a okay. Should have got the small one. So after you're done putting all your oil in, you want to check your dipstick. You wipe it off, put it back in, check the engine oil again, and you want to check around for any leaks. So just make sure to remember to reapply those uh, lower plastics and tighten all your bolts and make sure your all your panels are secure. Thank you for watching this episode of A Sunny World on how to change your engine oil on a motorcycle, specifically a Honda CBR1000RR. And Please wait for more videos to come on how to do's and many, many others. Thank you very much to my friend Tack for helping me. Um, please follow his uh, YouTube channel and his TikTok. I'll post his links below. And please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching.